Before you get to watching this, I do sound quiet in the first half of the video. That's because I was recording at like 1 a.m. in the morning, but it does get louder. Anyway, enjoy the video. Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video. My name is Castle, and today I have a video for newer Helldivers looking to jump in and spread managed democracy across the galaxy. As of patch 1.000.103, the Shrieker patch, there are currently 12 tactical objectives in the game. You are most likely to find these tactical objectives on missions that aren't eradicate or defense missions. These tactical objectives are then split into enemy or allied objectives. You will hear it in a call out, when you destroy one, it would say enemy or allied tactical assets destroyed or nearby. Now the first tactical objective on our list is the SEAF Artillery. This tactical objective is unique as it rewards your team with a stratagem for successfully completing the objective. Now when approaching the SEAF Artillery, my first piece of advice is to not activate the terminal. Activating the terminal will spawn an enemy patrol on top of you which will attack you. Therefore the best course of action is to pick 5 shells and put them in front of the ammo feeder before activating the terminal. This way when you do activate the terminal, you can quickly load up 5 shells, head back to the terminal, activate the uplink and complete the objective without being attacked. Next up is the extremely simple upload escape pod data. Here you run up to the objective and use the upload data stratagem. This objective will not spawn any enemy patrols, so you're free to chill and collect the samples around the objective. Next up is the radar station. Upon completing this objective, your minimap will be updated with every enemy outpost, point of interest, and most importantly, every other tactical objective on the map. This objective, much like the SEAF artillery, is quite simple. First, log in. Second, let the tower be raised. Third of all, orientate the tower. Now, a key point is that when you do rotate the tower, when the tower becomes aligned, you will hear an audible ping from the terminal. This tip can be great if you're solo in the objective or solo in the mission. Now the last SEAF tactical objective is the SAM site. This tactical objective is only found in automaton missions and upon completion will shoot down one dropship when an enemy bot drop is called in. This tactical objective can be difficult to spot from afar due to its low profile, however it does have a beam like structure that is similar to the radar station without the satellite dish. And again, if you ping over the area, it will show up as a tactical objective if there's a square. The objective is quite simple, first log in, second wait for the launcher to be raised, third of all activate all of its systems and congratulations, you now have a surface to air missile launcher. Now for the only enemy tactical objective that is found on both automaton and terminate planets and instead of explaining it, I think I'm just going to summarize it in one clip. This is a good time to mention that every enemy objective in this game can be blown up. First on the list is the Detector Tower, or the Eye of Sauron, whichever is your fancy. I don't really know what this does, but we have to blow it up. You can use a 500kg bomb, or you can use a Hell Bomb. However, there is only a really specific place where it will land, or it will just not land. And that should be right in front of the tower. And to those saying you can just blow up the Eye, I've emptied a whole clip of the auto cannon into it and it's still standing. Next up is the anti-air emplacement, not to be confused with the stratagem jammer although they do have similar effects. The anti-air emplacement will jam your eagle stratagems but they will not jam your orbital stratagems or support weapon call-ins. You can find this enemy asset by looking to the sky, whenever you call in an eagle the flat cannons will fire at the eagle as it passes overhead. Now the most effective way to take out this objective is to use your largest orbital stratagems such as the rail cannon or the laser beam. However, if you can't and you manage to take out all of the robots in the area, you can use the hell bomb. If you're overwhelmed by the amount of robots, you can actually complete the objective by focusing the exposed grills on the back of both guns using any kind of explosive damage, such as an auto cannon or impact grenade. And now we introduce the big brother of the anti-air emplacement, also known as 
Much like his younger sister, the mortar emplacement comes equipped with two to three mortars which target players within a certain range. However, unlike his younger sister, the mortar cannot disable your stratagems, meaning you can use any orbital or eagle airstrike to take out this emplacement. Since the mortars try to target players, if the players are too close to the mortar, they will swivel and try to aim. However, since they can't fire in themselves, they won't fire. But this does mean that the exposed vent behind the mortar can be hard to reach. But this is an issue a simple impact grenade can solve. And now for the mother of the family, the stratagem jammer. When in range, all of your stuff will be jammed. You got no orbitals, no support weapons, no airstrikes, which makes sense. If you didn't realize you were being jammed by a stratagem jammer, I'm sure the giant rose toy shaped antenna pulsating red room energy should give it away. Now, the fastest way to kill it is to run up to the closest fabricator that will be attached to it and throw a nade inside of it. Or, you can do it the slow way, hack it, disable it, and then call in a hell bomb. But, just blow up the fabricator. I forgot to mention doing that also kills you if you're too close. My bad. And that about wraps up every automaton tactical objective. Unless I'm missing something, that would be really embarrassing. Now if you've made it to this point in the video, I appreciate you, maybe drop a like and subscribe. I really enjoyed making this video, mostly because anything Masayoshi Soken makes is straight fire, but also because I like making guides. Now, onto the faction that is also known as the Scourge of Democracy. First up is the Sports BR. This terminal structure heavily reduces visibility in a wide area, allowing you to be flanked by hunters, jumped by stalkers, and have your feet nibbled off by scavengers. The most effective way to deal with this structure is to find a high vantage point and take it out with any kind of long range weapon, such as an auto cannon, a railgun, exo patriot missile, and so forth. Okay, number 2 out of 3 is the Shrieker Nest. This is the most heavily armoured terminal structure in the game as of this patch. The nests seem to spawn in clusters of 3 but I'm not quite sure on that specific detail. Since I measure everything in terms of auto cannon fire, it takes 10 bullets to kill one nest which means it takes 3 mags to kill a whole nest. To add to that, you are given a free hull bomb to clear everything but you have to kill the shriekers first so good luck with that. And last but not least, the biggie man of the terminated world, the invisible ire that I shake my fist to, and the Pokemon evolution of the hunters, the stalkers, specifically the stalker lair. Now these things are relatively easy to find and destroy. The issue with them, as I'm sure you're all aware, is the stalkers that spawn out of them. They go invisible, they sneak up behind you, and they can very easily one-shot you. So, how you defeat this objective? Find the stalker. When you shoot it and it runs away, chase after it. That is the fastest way to find the nest. Now, if you are too effective at liberating a stalker's head from its body, I suggest you run in the direction that the stalker came from. That should also lead you to a nest. Once you get to the nest, blow it up. Now, in this clip, there's only one hole, but usually there are two holes. One that's really big, which spawns to stalkers and another one which spawns scavengers and bio scavengers. I don't really use eagles for bug holes, I usually use an auto cannon or grenade. I should probably also recommend taking the Gatlin Sentry for shriekers, my bad. And I think that more or less completes every type of tactical objective on the map. Now logically speaking that means I'll have to make every type of mission and every type of point of interest on the map as well. That sounds like a lot of work, so maybe, maybe not. Maybe this video gets like 50,000 views, I'll do it. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's the end of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Stay humble, have fun, have happy hell diving. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. I'm not a big fan of the government. I'm not a big fan of the government. I'm not a big fan of the government. I'm not a big fan of the government.